What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmiles World and right now we're going to be talking about leveling up and getting the Grunkowski, the 99 overall Grunk super fast which means you would have to get to level 51. I do want to point out that there are 61 levels, all right? So the max level is 61, but everybody's only really concerned with a few more. Uh, we need 16,000 approximate XP remaining to get the 99 Grunk. Uh, once we put him into the set, he's gonna go up a speed point, all that good stuff. I will update you guys with that being unlocked. Uh, many of you guys that are already subscribed to GMI's World will know as soon as it happens. If you're not, Go ahead and sub now, it's free. Uh, but look, that one is very important, and then you have this right here. So you'll get a jump start on the season four uh, champion, um, you know, whoever that might be going forward. So I just wanna make sure everybody understands. The objective is to finish it all the way throughout. Don't just stop now with all the pointers I'm gonna give you uh, right now. Now look, listen, a lot of you guys have been coming in, you guys got the game late, you just got it recently, they had a discount on Madden, and you're like, yo, G, I just got into the game, I'm trying to grind, I also have my veterans, most of you guys have said you've already been able to unlock Grunk as of today with this video. Congratulations to all of you guys. Um, some people got a little bit more of an advantage um, with the way that some of the bugs were going on when you complete random sets, they were just jumping levels, so many people were able to take advantage of that. Shout out to all of you guys that already have them, but for those of you guys that don't, let's talk about it real quick. So look. Let's take a look at where he is right now and what's going to happen. Um, so, where is Grunk? Grunk, where are you? Where are you hiding, dude? Grunk Kowski. Okay, you, it might be easy for me to just probably... If I just search by tight end, but we found him. All right, so look. When you guys go over and get the final uh, 98 overall all Madden field pass Grunk, um, you see like how the ratings go to 95? That's going to be... Like his base card, the card itself is a 94, but when you add it into the set, he's going to be a 95, which means that you can have an advantage if you do use a regular theme team because the legends only give you plus one speed any theme team you want to use you can add to grunk once you unlock him and get him too so he'd be 97 speed at six foot six nobody wants to deal with that nobody all right so right now he's only 92 speed and he's going crazy i don't think anybody wants to see him at 97 speed so you know make a decision if you want to go that route i don't think i'm going to go regular theme team but I may get a little excited depending on some of the players that come out a little bit later. If Carmichael drops, we might have to actually go Eagles to get that plus two. We got to talk about it, but you got to remember, golden tickets are also coming very soon, so uh, we'll be able to take a look at that as well. All right? Now, that's where we are right now. You saw that we we're 16,000 XP away, and now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. All right? This is very, very important. Okay? I want you guys to understand that I hate solo battles, but... A lot of you guys that are not doing any of them, you're starting to miss out on a lot of the things that are in the game. Now, it's not all about winning all these games and getting that, um, you know, the competitive points. It's about these things, like the four, six fumbles and the gain 3,000 yards. That's an easy 10 competitive points right there that some of you guys that just do not want to do anything with it. Like, dude, it's one, ch dude, one solo battle on easy, get six fumbles. You don't gotta get the 3,000 yards, but just, just get that. Then also, with the way that they have the stats. If you wanted to, I'm not saying that you have to, but if you wanted to, you could finish this up by playing it like that with the pass. If you wanted to, you could rush for 30 touchdowns um, in solo battles and get this stuff done for all this additional stuff. As far as the 3,000 you know, offensive yards and all that stuff, that would come organically, but it, it's more or less, I gotta let you guys, I just wanted to focus in on that because every two weeks, I've noticed that a lot of you guys are still saying you're not taking advantage of these additional points, which then, you know, it gives you a lot of XP. I've already received like, what is that, one, that's two. I've already received 50,000 XP and I just started doing the competitive pass today. So if you guys are not doing the solo battles, you're missing out on a lot of additional competitive points that can jump you ahead so that you won't have issues continuing to go up with the XP. And I just wanna make sure that, that you know, you guys understand. It's something that I know a lot of people just don't wanna do, Please, if you want to grind through this and get this grunt, you're gonna have to do that. All right. The Mutt Champions. Right now, we, you know, we're at seven to ten. This is really the like the huge jump factor where you start getting a boatload of XP. Like right now, if I were to play a few more, right, and I jump up to a hundred, right, a hundred. Where is it? Uh, 80, 90, 100. I would get another twenty-five, and I would unlock grunt. But I would much rather you guys see it live when I do it. So it's sort of like, all right, do I want to go ahead and do it when you guys are not here? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's more fun when you guys see what's going on. But as far as the solo battles, I'm going to jump into, a, um, a, like, you know, like the rookie level and get that done and get that six. 
just to be able to have some of these, um, you know, easier competitive points to make it easier because I'm right there next to Grunk. So that was something that I did all the time. I went to the bottom and I checked out the easy ones and I got those done on easy and then I always did the stats because it's 6, 12, 18, 24, and you got 30 right here. You got this, you do this every two weeks when you complete the sets. Head to head seasons, obviously. You know, it's only five for every five wins. There's no bonus like with Mud Champs, but that's something that you wanna focus in on. And look, I'm only showing you the competitive side right now, all right? Obviously, this is not it, okay? But I want you guys to see right now because this is every two weeks. So if you're really behind the eight ball, you gotta start doing this stuff and you gotta start doing it quickly. The next levels, the playoffs and Super Bowl. Now they're gonna be dropping another part of the Super Bowl promo and that's gonna also give you guys a lot of additional XP that's gonna make you guys be ready to go. Uh, right now, we're, you know, we're like 2K away from getting to 36, so this is another thing, but the objectives right now, um, I would actually have to win 10 more games to get 3,000 points. So like right now, do I wanna play you know, the solo battles and then finish it up? I could do it that way also, because it's a combination. Um, but yeah, it's it's so many different variations, but you're gonna wanna get involved with the Super Bowl Field Pass. Ton of XP in here, all right? Ton of XP, I've already received so much. You got ring fragments if you haven't already completed that. I put out a video about why the ring fragments are important, so check it out in the playlist. But this is very, very important as well. Uh, definitely make sure you check that out. Um, and then finally, this one has been expired. Most of you guys have already done this. So this is like, just like, you know, repetitive. I think many of you guys have already done it. If you haven't gone through this, you need to get this done as well. You know what I'm saying? Cause I maxed this out pretty easy. Uh, it was like a three part program. I didn't even need to do a lot of this stuff towards the end, but it's the same thing with the objectives. I just want to make sure that it's very, very clear. If you are just grinding the game and it's not in a field pass, you will not receive XP. Okay. So if you don't see it over here in any of the lines, that means that you're not getting XP for it, you're just playing the game. All of the old school grinding with Madden is over. And I, you know, I keep getting every, like a new person every video. Oh, I didn't know that. Bro, when you see the field pass, when you first log into the game, you have to check it out. You know what I'm saying? You have to check it out. Like, look, it's part of the game. I know like it's really annoying most of the time, but it's part of the game now, it's a staple. And I, I see EA probably keeping this going because they were able to figure out a lot of the stuff that was going wrong with it. So it's possible they may fine tune it. And I know you're probably laughing like, yeah, EA fine tune, okay, G. But it's possible that they might make it better going forward. And then finally, the dailies, right? So the daily tracker, no matter what, I told you guys by the time we were getting closer to the 30 days, all of us would have grunk. If you guys focused in and completed your daily objectives the way that I did, you should have 26 of them. So no matter what happens, more than likely we're gonna be done before the 30 days. So this XP will go towards getting us that bonus XP uh, for the next segment, uh, for uh, season four. But regardless of whichever way we go about it, all of us should be on the same page with it. We should all be at 26 of 30. Or maybe you guys got lucky and got more. Regardless, all of the XP is gonna help to get you to that level to get Gronkowski and be ready to go super fast. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, hit me up, let me know. But I'm telling you right now, Gronkowski is back tomorrow and we're gonna be having a boatload of fun. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.